I played Rocket League last night. I'm kind of getting pretty done with it, honestly. It, well, Rocket League Mutators is coming out. It, oh yeah, they just they just announced that, right? Yeah. It's just it's now just turned into every typical online game where everyone kicks your trash and then gets pissed off at you because you suck. So. Or the one time you kick their trash, they're like, "Get a lie." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, "Oh, it was my effing lag, bro." Shut up. So it is just the typical online experience now. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, that's that's actually kind of disheartening considering Rocket League was nice because everyone was so relaxed. Yeah, exactly. That's who we played with. Yeah, like when you and I played, like, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and we were also in the better tier of some of the people when we played as well yeah well like i said when games first start no one knows what the heck's going on no one knows any tricks so yeah. it's basically just it's based off of how good you are just purely at games pretty yeah. much with a little bit of how good are you at this specific game right. whereas after you know how long has it been out six months yeah not four even months. yeah three months four months yeah, once it hits that, like, oh, do this and you'll be really good, people start practicing certain things and it's more of you're good at the game rather than good at games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're playing uh, The Hills Have Eyes, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, It's this is uh, one of the uh, hills, as it were. Um, you can't really see him right now because his, his uh, face is down, but he's horribly deformed. And, um, yeah. This is basically just that experience of uh, how many people can we hunt down and murder. So let's wake him oh, up. okay, sweet. Here we go. Let's see what we have here. Here we go. We got a little sword. Let's get the uh, controls back down. So there's that. Crouch. Also Whoa. known as the most awkward horse riding control simulator. Yeah. The controls in this game are kind of strange. Like, you think like, oh, X, jump. No, 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 no. It's going to be triangle. But like... I played. I don't know. Maybe I've just played this game a lot, or I don't. I don't know. But the controls, like, it's like weird for a split second, and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, right. Oh, okay, sweet. I got all this stuff. I got the whistle arrow. Wow. Uh, the this is my favorite weapon of all time, FYI. Uh, you, the queen sword is pretty cool too, but nothing beats explosions. Um, I I honestly never got far enough in this game to like get different weapons. <laughs> okay, I don't have a lot of the different weapons. I just have some, but I think the Colossus. Oh oh yeah, this isn't Hills Have Eyes by the way. This is Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> in which the hills like, literally do have eyes, though. Yes, no, that is that is a fact. The hills yeah. do have eyes. Uh, Halloween oh. episode. Well yeah. Boop. Um, and then, how was it that I... It's not that. Oh, this one's like kind of hard to find. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is my, also a, a very good aspect of the game. It's standing on your horse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Standing on your horse, and you're just like, let's go! Can you do that initially? Can you do what initially? Like stand on your horse? Like can you do that from the get go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can like side saddle and everything. Oh, really? I just can't remember how to do mm. it. Yeah, I never figured so, that out. As any of you who have ever played this game, uh, which if you haven't, shame on you. But any yes, of you I who played. have played this game, Dallin, shut up. We know that you're a special little boy and you only like Child of Light because you are a child. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, but um, no. You know that I'm like a you know way overpowered right now for for where we are in the game. So how do these play and chat things go? We just you play and 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 we chat. What are we? Oh, here's the problem with this guy. It always takes me years to find him because he's in like this gorge place. And I want to say I take a right. Uh, yep. Um. I think I was supposed to go further in the desert. So, would you consider this your favorite game of all time? I think this is the... I'll put it this way. Put it this way. Um, I think that 
out of my top three, which are my top three that I always rant about, and then I'm always like, these are really good games, just really, really good games, uh, which is Shadow of the Colossus. Um, probably get flack for this, uh, these other two, but um, uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee mm. and Kingdom Hearts, the original mm -hmm. game. I always say those are my favorite three. And out of those three, I think this game gets the most respect for just being a really, really good game. Like in general from other people. Well, no, no. I mean, even I mean that's true also. But I'm saying like in terms of how good I think it is overall, okay. and how many people it appeals to, yeah. and you know, you take storyline into you know into account, you take controls into account, you take uh, look into account. Uh, soundtrack. I love the soundtrack of Kingdom Hearts, and obviously Smash Brothers Melee has a lot of really good tracks in it from uh, iconic Nintendo mm -hmm. franchises. Oh man, I'm still going the wrong way. Uh, but let's see. Oh, maybe we were closer than I thought. Uh, but I think this game just has it all. There's not really any bad, f unappealing facet to this game. With the exception of you have to be okay with the frame rate loss, like on the PS2 version mm -hmm. that you get when you fight the last boss. Uh, that's something that a lot of people complain about. But I'm not really... You know, I played it on the PS2. I wasn't really a big stickler for that. I didn't really... I didn't care that much that there was there were frame drop issues. So, yeah, I, I just think that... It's it's probably the game I respect most okay. out of out of any game I've ever played. So my next question is, what would what what would happen to you if Sora was put in Super Smash Bros? Oh God! <laughs> well, that is just never gonna happen. No, <laughs> because Square mainly, I think. Um, but what would happen? I I'd immediately main him. <laughs> I'd just immediately pick him up. It doesn't matter how bad he is, and I just I just start playing him. Here we go. This is what we've been looking for. Yeah, I I mean, he could have he could be like the lowest of low tier character, and it would not even matter in the slightest. I'd just be the hap happiest can be. Cause I remember you know like playing the original one and and going on to message boards like between that one and melee when I was a little kid and you know people were like they need to put Mega Man in the next game yeah I'm like yeah Mega Man's a really good idea and then they put Mega Man in and I was so excited for Mega Man I remember it was like 2012 2013 uh, 2011 one of those that they announced uh, Mega Man and he was one of the first that they announced and I was like I'm maining him yeah end of discussion and I put to this day he's like one of the only characters I play. Um, when I'm, you know, when I'm trying to play really well, besides, you know, like Roy, which I'm nowhere near as good, good with, but Roy was a, a cool inclusion that I liked and the occasional like Donkey Kong and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if they put, if they put Sora in, all bets are Regardless off. Regardless of playing. how the character is, you would make him your best character. Absolutely. Absolutely. Interesting. Yeah. It's too bad that Square and Nintendo kind of. Have a hate on for each other. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. <laughs> uh oh. Um, I I've done this boss. I remember this one. You remember? This yeah. One? So I've at least beat three of them. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Okay, good. Okay, yeah. This one is probably a little cliche, but he's probably my favorite. If, if we're being honest right. here, um, he's also incidentally the hardest, in my opinion. To beat in time attack mode. Okay. Um, and I've seen people speed run. He's also a pretty tricky speed run one. Uh, but yeah, you have to do some. In order to save time, you have to do some weird glitch, where when you stand on his sword, he like he'll like bury it into the ground. You stand on it, and then he'll flick it back out. You have to jump right at the right time, and you'll flick up onto his head. And it's a pretty hard. It's. I don't know if I don't think it's frame perfect by any means, but you know you get like, a, you know, oh, a few frames to to get it right. I lied. I haven't beat this one. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't gotten to the third boss. Well, in this amazing maybe game. I have. I don't know which one is the water one. 
The water one? Hell yeah, you definitely got past this. Oh, okay, yeah, I beat the water one. We were at the water dude's, um, like, lair. Oh yeah, I gotta let him walk towards me. I had a whole thing set in place when I was, like, doing the speed run for this, because you really have to... It's, it's best if he swings the sword at you after he's, like, at the edge. Here, let's see. Oh, he's stomping. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Actually, I do forget. Yeah, you're supposed to do this first. Silly me. Okay, swing. You gonna do it? Don't walk forward. So, last week, um, I talked with Chris, and we were talking about how, how the site started. And he confessed that he was actually a pretty dirty scalper. And that was oh, yeah. that was the original intent of the site. We have that in an interview. We have it in another interview now too, yeah. Wow. Um So when you got onto the site though, he, he was he had made the transition towards a journalism site. But how did you find the site and, and get working with Chris? With power up? Yeah. Uh, it was through game journalism jobs. I had just gotten out of college and I was kinda like, oh, Let's, let's give this a shot. One of my other friends uh, that I worked with at a at a newspaper uh, was like, "You should use this site. It's really good. Got got a decent amount of leads on there. Uh, not the place, um, but the uh, I don't know, like job leads." Um, right. And I went on there and I saw Power Up, and it, you know, it seemed seemed good enough. You know, not great. I hate Chris, but, you know, that's the only <laughs> probably bad part about yeah, the job. It sucks working for someone who's such a douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> well, this guy's, speaking of douchebag, this guy needs to swing that pup pup. Uh. <laughs> he's not going to do it. Oh, here we go. Hit me, you son of a bitch. Hit me. Did he kill me? Oh. He killed me. Oh, gosh. I'm not sure. It was pretty close. Oh. Some, I, I've actually had that happen before, too. No, he didn't. Um, where oh. he swung, oh. he killed me, but the the little like cutscene still went off. Is he and... gonna run up the sword? <gasps> yeah, that's no fun. Whoa! <laughs> I oh crap! <laughs> we're we're actually, you know, I probably wouldn't have died anyways, considering how much life we you have. You have a lot, yeah. Was... Have you ever seen like when people just go all out and collect like all the lizards? The life bar. There's lizards and... to collect? Yeah, you can collect lizards. Apparently I beat the water guy without gathers. knowing there's lizards. <laughs> right. You can beat the the or you can collect the lizards and that gets your grip up so you can stay on bosses for longer. I see. That would be handy. Or you can collect fruit and upgrade your health. Hmm. Wow, I'm learning so much about this game, I had no clue. You're learning stuff that would normally take people days, or in other words, five minutes to learn. Yeah, I suck at games. <laughs> I don't know if you necessarily suck. Maybe you're just like, you don't pay attention really? Uh, that's true, I'm not very observant. When I play, and it's the same with like movies. Like when I watch a movie with my wife, she's, she's the kind of person that like is... Like, always trying to really? figure out what's going to happen at the end and give me that analytical time. yeah and mm -hmm. i don't say like drives me crazy but it's just like to me i don't just enjoy i don't it. think ahead yeah i'm just i'm in that moment watching what's supposed to happen right then i mean if I there's do, like yeah. an obvious bit of foreshadowing or something you know then yeah but and i'm kind of the same with games like if i'm playing a title and uh oh that was close Gotta play those titles. Yeah, gotta play that title. You know, I'm playing. Have you played the titles, the titles? <laughs> Come on. Nice. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. You were getting a little bit of feedback there. It's my bad. Climbing up this boy's arm. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. All right, good. So now this guy has. I want to. Three. He's got three, I think. Three weak spots. One on the head. Uh, I could have been doing a lot of damage to him, but I didn't. 
Uh. Like explosion arrows like a shitty it. Um, yeah, I think he's got three. He's either got three or two. He definitely has one on his head and definitely has one on his stomach. Uh. No. Um, I love that blood spurt. Go! I think that's it. It might not be it. Let's see. Go back really quick. No, oh, that's it. That's all she wrote. So yeah, with with hard mode, it just really like. Oh, does he have one on his arm? We're gonna say no. We're gonna just take a leap of faith. Go down. Um, but on hard mode, usually they'll get like an extra sigil. Okay. You see, I was shooting shooting that one uh, once effectively. Second time, not very effectively. And um, so they'll add they'll add sigils. And they'll also make it so you don't do as much damage. Okay. And you can imagine in hard mode um, and time attack mode makes it really difficult because oh. I'm pretty sure everything stacks. And this guy, if you like, if you're noticing, like I'm kind of losing my footing a lot. Yeah. He just naturally, like, as he, oh wow, how's that? As he moves around, and that's again because I'm like stronger than I'm supposed to be and everything. That guy, um, naturally, is very hard to get a good foothold on. So what a lot of speedrunners will do... Oh, wait, hold on. Before I, before I finish that statement, I want to see if I can get away from the black... Oh, I'm not going to be able to. I got knocked out. You can get away from that stuff? You can get away from it. I think there's a glitch where you can actually get away from... No! Um, Michael? You can... <laughs> What'd you say? Michael? <laughs> You can get away from it, I think, indefinitely in one glitch, but there's another glitch. It's not really a glitch, but you just, since you're on, like, a platform here, you just jump off, go into the water. Oh, I see. Um, and it takes a really long time to get to you. We gotta play those, you know, fun little glitches. Oh, yeah. But anyways, um, so the, the thing with speedrunners is they'll figure out a way not only to cut the time down by like little glitches like when he pulls a sword out jumping and going straight to his head but they'll also figure out the perfect way to place your body okay on the uh colossi there's like there are sweet spots on them where no matter how much they flail around how much they move uh you always stay you know perfectly still you're always able to just stab as much as you can so interesting Hmm. And, um, yeah, very neat little trick. It almost feels like you're cheating the game a little bit because I've done a little bit of that. Uh, obviously, like, when you do the, the sword glitch, you are cheating the game, but when you get that, like, sweet spot, you just yeah. feel like, okay, there's... No challenge. Gonna, yeah, sit here and go to town on this guy, so... Um, when you were growing up, were you a troublemaker? Yes. <laughs> that was a stupid question. I already knew that answer. I was. I what was once? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, got in trouble. A lot of a few crab apple related incidents. So <laughs> when I was a really little kid, me and my friend, and we, you know we were batting crab apples. Um, and you know those big plastic bats that you you're supposed to hit wiffle balls with. Yeah. Well, if you hit crab apples with, they go really far. Okay. Like really far. So. He was pitching to me, and I was hitting it, and then I was pitching to him, and he was hitting it. Um, it was all good fun until our neighbor called the cops, and she was, you know, I don't know, 50, 60-year-old lady, and actually got the cops involved. Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't I, I don't really know. I don't really know, to be honest For two you. kids playing baseball? For two kids playing baseball, but... To be fair, you know, we probably shouldn't have been probably shouldn't have been dicking around like that. How do you So at a tender young age you had already had the cops called on you? Yeah, we we um Oh, it's just X. We we had the cops call on us and they were kinda you know they came over I feel like because they had to. Yeah. And they're like, Yeah, this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> So that was the first time with Crab Apple. Second time was legit. Um, we were standing in some bushes on a not a very, it's is like on a the busiest road in a neighborhood. So not very busy, right? You know, you get yeah. maybe get maybe like a few cars a minute. Mm -hmm. 
uh, maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe like one car a minute. And what we actually did, oh, I think this is the horse guy. Sorry to interrupt. No, that's um, but uh, what we did is we stood behind some trees, and then <laughs> I would throw a crab apple at a car going by. Okay. And the the upside to that is it's very fun, and you get to see the explosion of the crab apple. The problem with it is you don't get to see what kind of car it is until after the explosion has already happened because <laughs> okay. it's passing. And we accidentally hit a – I accidentally hit a cop car. <laughs> <laughs> and we would have gotten away with it. Um, if it weren't for those meddling words. kids. Yeah. For A, it had not been those meddling kids. And B, one of our friends that – really, I didn't even know that well, to be quite honest with you. Oh, man, this is another kind of annoying one. Damn it. Um, I mean, at least I liked the last one. This guy's just kind of annoying. So, yeah, he, we would have gotten away with it, but one of our friends, like, got really scared. He ran into some woods near there, and he was just, like, texting his girlfriend. Like, kind of scared. <laughs> I was like, you, you kidding me right How now? How old were you? Small. We were pretty old. I mean, it was, like, 15, 16. Okay. But this guy was just being a damn loser. Uh, anyways, we got caught. And I got brought back to... It was supposed to be my dad's house. But he was... I think he was... Um, he went out with his girlfriend for the night. So... Uh, went back to my mom's house. And she was mad. But of course, you know, it was like, why aren't you, you know, why, where's your dad? Like, yeah. so it was, a, it was like a thing of like between them now. And then my dad was mad because it was, it was a thing between them now. <laughs> so I've never looked at Granny Smith the same. So. <laughs> uh, and that is why I take my frustration out on giant lumbering beasts to save my girlfriend. So I don't have to text her in the forest, Steve. <laughs> Anywho. So, that's a good segue. Let's talk about some relationship business. What? <laughs> I ask this question every time. What's what's the worst mistake you've ever made in a relationship? Worst mistake I've ever made in a relationship. Uh... Scott said, um, saying that his girlfriend looked like a zebra. That's a bad one. Uh, you can't go down that route ever. Chris said... Um, getting into one. <laughs> I was gonna say, has Chris? I'm not gonna go down that road. Never mind. <laughs> um, I think my worst relationship mistake can be likened, actually, and I'm not talking about the wolf, but to uh, saying one thing's like another. To this experience right here. In a deep you dark know? cave. Yeah, in a deep dark cave. And you, you know, you're just kind of poking your head out, and you're, uh, you know, you're getting a look at that ass. And you can't do that when you're in a relationship. You know, you can't, you can't be poking your head out, getting a look at that ass, when you're in a relationship. As you, you've learned that, but you're like really good at getting away with it. So I, I guess nope. like you really haven't learned that lesson. But disclaimer, no. <laughs> yeah. Wink. Wink. False. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, this is what I can do. So. No, I mean the worst the worst mistake that I made in a relationship. I haven't had many. Another disclaimer: haven't not I have not had many relationships. Um, I was in a relationship for eight years, and that's then, a long time. That is a long time. That was you know I there wasn't really much mistake making in that. Fuck this guy's annoying <laughs> as hell. Uh, there wasn't a lot of mistakes going on in that relationship. I feel like it was just kind of, it just wasn't working out after a while and went our separate ways. Um, but, you know, I, st I still talk to her occasionally. Um, I think maybe you could, I don't portray it as a mistake, but you could portray it, uh, being in a relationship during college as a mistake. Okay, yeah. Uh, I never really minded because uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not the type who's just like, okay, I'm going to go crazy over every single girl and I need to have, 
I need to feel like I had a whole bunch of like crazy experiences in college mm -hmm. and I don't You were don't you were more of like way. a smash tournament guy in college. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I wasn't you know, I wasn't really thinking I was having much of a shot anyways with the ladies. Um but no, yeah, it wasn't uh it wasn't really a big issue for me, but I know some people would say, like, well, you need to take college and you need to spend those years figuring out who you are. Um, but I feel like relationship-wise, they already kind of knew who I was. All right. So I think the biggest, the biggest mistake, and I never dated these people, but this, this was recently, this was after, after my relationship, but the mistake was... Um, this one girl was interested in me, not going to name names. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Things didn't really work out. We never really dated. We just kind of saw each other. Mm -hmm. You know how that song and dance goes. And I think we only met up like two, three times. It just wasn't working out. And then her younger sister actually, um, I think she, you know, she kind of gathered an interest for me. It's that chin, and right? Then, oh, it was that crimson chin and the, <laughs> and the brow. Is it? What the hell? Okay, this is weird. It shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> it's just walking around. Being a little... This is why I hate this guy, because he just, he does not cooperate. He doesn't let you kill him. No. Oh, hold on. I gotta turn that off immediately. Oh, am I gonna get killed? Hold on. Oh, look out! Your horse is here to save you. Look out. I'm okay. Oh, good. So, yeah, I mean, the biggest mistake was really, like, you just shouldn't do that. Yeah. Just etiquette-wise. Plus, the girl was, like, a lot younger than me. And, yeah, it just didn't work out, so. So, yeah, but at the same time, you know, you have all your friends, and you're like, I, I don't know if I should be doing this. And like, well, what's wrong with it? <laughs> like, well, it's, it's a sister. And they're like... Oh, yeah, you're probably right about that. You probably shouldn't be doing that. It's like, oh, yeah. Okay, what the hell? So, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of judgment going on from some people there. Interesting. Oh, he's chasing the arrows. Damn it. I think, I don't think I should be using those types of arrows for this fight. And there's a... A little damage while we can. Um, so yeah, I don't. Ri you know what? To be honest with you, Dally boy. Yep. I've been I've been pretty lucky as far as relationships go. You know, I had the one that lasted a really long time, um, and uh, it just wasn't working out. And uh, you know, still remain good friends with her. Um, and then you know, there's been another girl. Uh, that I've seen since, you know, had a big crush on her. Um, but she, you know, she turned out to be really nice. We met up, we, we hung out. And then, like, you know, I met another girl, like, kind of recently from from around my hometown. Interesting. And uh, she's really cool, too. I, I, here's the one thing. You're always afraid, right? I don't know if, if you had the same experience as me, Dallin. I don't know how many relationships you've been in. I know you're married now. But I, it, people are always, like, you know, um girls are crazy uh don't like get serious with anyone until you're like much older mm -hmm. and um i don't i haven't found that to be really true advice no to, no to be quite honest you just need to find the right person you need you need to here's the main thing you need to not be an idiot that's the thing and, right i mean you need to use your judgment because there are and it's not just girls you know it's everyone there are you know, crazy people and people who take advantage of people and screw people over, you know, like, and that's going to happen, it, it, you know, whether in a romantic relationship or a business relationship, anything like that, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you're smart enough and, and wise enough to be able to see that, then I don't think that you can say that, oh, you know, all women in their 20s are crazy. Like, that's not a thing. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I, I definitely agree. I think it's just because a lot of guys are, you know, they're like, well, I'm just going to go for the, you know, the best looking thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm more concerned about 
how she looks rather than how she, who she is as a person. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting a little too deep. We're here. getting pretty deep, actually. Yeah. And that is what she said. However, <laughs> uh, we Lighten do need up. to kill this Colossus now that we're we have fully mounted it. Speaking of which, <laughs> um, <laughs> zing. <laughs> is there just one? Oh yeah. Okay. So in hard mode. There's one on its shoulders, I believe. Maybe there is. I don't know. Let's tr let's let's just go straight. Let's just go straight to head. Let's go straight to that head, that coveted this, head. <laughs> You're just gonna keep rolling with this, aren't you? <laughs> oh snap! Okay, I was gonna do my my favorite thing in the world in this game is to do a uh, jump stab. Oh okay. Uh, so you can jump up in the air and then stab down. And yeah, I think this guy just has one one sigil on his head. Boom. Wait. Oh, does he have another one? Let's see. No, it's just this. In hard mode, uh, he's got another one on his shoulder. Um, so yeah. What were we talking about? <laughs> Colossi? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah, the jump stab. One of the most exhilarating feelings in this game. And he's dead. Boom. Get off. Run. Run, Wander. This this has been an illuminating session. Has it? Yeah, it has actually. All right, we're. I I was actually expecting like an ink block blot test at some. Oh point. no no, there's no need for that. No need for that. No no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to get into your head and. Fuck. <laughs> Freedom! On that note, <laughs> is there anything you want to tell our wonderful and committed viewers? To the five of you, <laughs> pretty that much. Are out there, <laughs> I want you to know. I want you to want me. Now, what that means in a sense of cheap trick is your love and devotion is so important to me that I'm willing to throw away earthly possessions such as Dallin's love. <laughs> now, we will do whatever we can to exploit this Canadian. I want you guys to realize this. Mm -hmm. um, he's not very intelligent. <laughs> My goodness. Here's the thing. I think he is intelligent. Don't listen during this part, Dad. Okay, I, won't I think listen. he is intelligent. I think he just wants to be accepted. And with your help, we can we can have him accepted on the internet, which is I mean, if if we're being honest with uh, ourselves, that's the one place we would probably want to be accepted the most. It's probably the hardest place to get accepted, really. Yeah, it's the hardest place to get accepted. Um cuz you got those keyboard warriors out there mm -hmm. just willing to say whatever. And um, I guess I'll say I'm kind of like Wander, and, and Dilly Dally is the little fair maiden there <laughs> sitting on that uh, slab of stone. I'm, I'm really trying my best to, by putting others down and stepping upon <laughs> the uh, bodies of others and bringing them down, is really trying to raise Dallin up. So I guess I chose this game because it's a metaphor for my relationship with the dilliest of Dallies, the shilliest of Shallies, uh, the Canadian Prince of Bastard Men, Dallin J.D. Schmidt. That makes no sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. I'm going out there. I'm wandering out there into the world, which is what he does, and I am taking down these, these behemoth... Uh, monstrosities which are the issues of this world and uh, the people of this world in order to make you look better. So if someone gave me crap on a video and article that I wrote you would go and slay them for me? Yeah. Oh. Unless it was amiibo related then that's completely understandable. No man. that ugh, Don't even get me started. I'm done. I'm only getting one more. That's it. You said that 20 amiibo ago. <laughs> Yeah, and I hate the fact that mo that plural amiibo is just amiibo. Are just amiibo. Let's just make an executive decision right now that from this day forward, Power Up Gaming will refer to them unofficially as amiibos. <laughs> if that's if that's the biggest thing we get out of this video, then 
I'm happy. <laughs> I'm I'm happy as can be. Is that is that where we're ending it, bud bud? We can end it with a bang. <laughs> he's just not. He's done. He is done. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I love that.